Hey everyone, welcome back with Take A Easy. My name is Yanni. I'm doing this home decor channel together with Diane and I hope you are ready for our daily home decor inspiration. For today's DIY, we need only a couple of things. Uh, most of the time I always try to keep it very simple. We need some too old print. We don't use the print, we just need the paper. And I always use a used paper because that's a little bit cheaper than you buy than you get new new print. Of course, we need some stacking blocks, we need a little piece of a dowel, and we need an old piece of scrap wood. And I use the one I found from IKEA for free, so everything is almost for free i think maybe one or two uh, dollars but that's the most that we spent today so let's start our diy so we are going to start with our old papers and of course i did already one example for you i am going to make two of the stopping boards signed for easter uh, i think it will be for easter i don't know yet maybe uh, easter or spring we will see and I will make two of them. This is the bigger one. And I will also make a smaller one in this uh, shape. So I'm going to start to make a little bit of the uh, smaller one. I think a little bit this way. I think this will be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to try to do it as fast as I can. And now I'm going to do this side. Now we have already a nice square. You see already, I'm going to turn around a little bit better. Now I'm going to fold this one this way. So I have four sides. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one. I can do it better this way. This the white side is a little bit better. I'm going to fold this one over and I'm going to cut it off so I can use it as a, a little um measurement so you see and i'm going to do it on top of here on the next corner and so i'm going to do all the four corners and just cut it off so i have the right size of the corners so i will do uh, all four of them and then you get a nice square like a nice uh, stopping <laughs> sign like this so you see already i did the measurement on top of my free uh uh, wood and uh, of course what i said earlier it is a little bit <laughs> chaos what i say but i hope you understand what i mean you just need to be to make this kind of square and later i found out you i can do easily fold one piece together in four and cut one piece here one piece here and one piece here and then you have the same measurement like i have so i did it very difficult but you don't have to do it so difficult like i do just as long as you have this kind of measurement so for a long time a long uh, story short i am going to go outside and i'm going to cut these uh, pieces out see already the two uh, little signs I made and I made them in the shape I always call them in a st <laughs> stopping board shape but I don't know how you call it in English but please bear with me uh, and of course I did two little pieces of the uh, straight lines uh, blocks because I want to use them as a stand because they are a little bit heavy so we will see if, if my little dowels will uh, hold them so <laughs> this is just an experiment what I'm going to do right now I'm going to um, paint this one in the white color and I'm going to paint the stands in the black color because I like a little bit of contrast between the colors so i will do start first with the white chalk paint and of course you can do any color you like if you like another color better just do whatever you think is right i always say so i will paint uh, both of them and i paint this one in the black color and then i show you the next step so you see both of the little sides are already in the white chalk paint i did two coats uh, over it what i'm going to do right now i'm going to take a just a permanent marker in the black of course you can use also some uh, black paint but i like it a little bit better 
to go to do the sides a little bit with the black marker just to give it a little bit more of an old feeling just go a little bit around the sides and do that on all all sides at least i do on all the sides and of course also the back side so i will do both of the sides and then we're going to do the next step so you see i did some distressing in the black color and i'm also going to do make a little bit with a, a little bit of the copper color a little bit rustic color uh, so it looks even more older than than our little uh, little uh, wooden piece is and just little pieces not everywhere just little marks with your copper and a, a little bit through the black color and just do a little bit over here i'd say a lot of a little bit <laughs> i'm sorry so this is a little bit what i mean and now i'm going to do also the other side so you see already, this is a little bit how they are looking like. I think they look already a little bit older, of course. You can stain it any color and any way you like. And of course, I have some uh, couple of these bunnies. These are filled uh, bunnies. And I bought them uh, a while ago in a garden center. And they were very cheap. You use them normally for putting your drinks on. I, For me, that doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know the idea of putting a, a glass on top of here is not my thing so what i'm going to do i'm going to use them for in the bigger sign and i'm going to glue this one on top of here and i'm going to do here with some wooden letters i have always my wooden letters around and i'm going to make a word over here but first i'm going to glue my little bunny on top of here and of course you can also make this one from cardboard so it even doesn't cost you anything so i will glue this together for this bunny i chose and for this sign i chose stop here so this is what i'm going to glue on top of here and i am debating what color i will do the letters but for now i keep this uh, this color i will glue them together right now and here you see already how my little uh, easter sign turned out and i am really loving it i know you see it uh, backwards but uh, when i show you the end result you will see it the right way for now i'm uh, still debating you see here already i tried out a couple of colors uh, from my uh, little uh, metallic uh, brush uh, pencils and i tried the green colors the blue colors uh, and i can't decide which color i want to have my letters in so i am going to for the little bit of the lighter brown color because i keep it a little bit neutral but if you like pink or yellow or red something else do whatever you think is right i am going for this um sign i'm going to do them in the brown color and this wooden letters are so easy to do you just go over it and already your letters is changing by the moment so i will finish this off and then we're going to do the next step so here you see already how this is turned out and i like i said i did it with the brown color i also did because this is filled and i also did uh, make a little eye with a black uh, marker and i did with my the same brown marker i did made a little accents on top of our filled um, bunny because it gives a little bit more he's more popping out right now so i am really loving the neutral tones but like i said earlier do whatever you like what i'm going to do before we're going to do our little stand under our little sign i have to make of course my second little sign and i found some i hope i don't make too much noise I show you it's a little bit <laughs> from ikea and i have from last year i have some easter eggs of course wooden easter eggs and i am going to use three of them and i'm going to pl uh, place three of them over here and i'll give them also a color so but i show you that in a moment here you see my old wooden easter eggs you see already this i with this is the way they <laughs> looked when I bought them, but I never use them. So I am going to use them for this. I'm going to turn them around and I'm going to give them each another color. So I have here my uh, a little bit in the 
pink tone um, markers so i am going to do three different uh, colors of easter eggs and then i'm going to glue them on top of here so first i'm going to color them and then i show you the next step so here you see the three colors i chose a little bit of the lighter pink the middle pink and a little bit of the purple color uh, so i'm going to uh, glue them in one this direction and one this direction and of course this one in the middle of course you can do it a little bit lower a little bit higher this is a little bit how i am going to do and then we're going to do some letters over here you see i chose for the word easter and i'm going to lay it down a little bit with a little flow a flow a little bow <laughs> a little flow bow <laughs> at least not in a straight line just a little bit with a curve so i am going to uh, glue this on top of our little sign so they are glued together right now and i'm going to also this one uh, with the little bit of the brown color uh, marker so i'm going to color also this in with the brown and here you see both of our little signs are finished what i'm going to do uh, the only thing i am still missing is a little bow tie over here and a little bow over here i always make my bows very simple just the way you tie your shoes just make a loop just turn it around just pull it in between and already you have your own nice little bow just pull a little bit on the ends and of course just cut it off and you have already your own little bow and it's so easy to make so i will make one for here and a one for here and then we are going to start our stand here you see already for my longer dowel i made uh, two um, larger ones and two smaller ones i did measure out of course for my little sign i will use the two of this one for under here and uh, for the uh, larger one i of course i use the bigger ones so we will see if this will work out but first we're going to put them in some furniture wax and i always use the simple homemade uh, brand from a store here in the netherlands but you can find them anywhere but you can also stain it with something else and i am already back and you see already i didn't do my dowels in in the, in, my, in the furniture racks because when i was measuring it out and i was looking for how it would look when i have the little signs on top of our dowels it was horrible <laughs> so this is not going to going to work this will be a big failure so what i'm going to do if i am looking for i just going to glue this on top of this stand right away without the dowels in between and now i am really liking how it's turned out so it will be right away on top of my stand and also this piece is just a piece of free wood and i use this as a stand so i will glue both of them on top of each other so you see already both of them are on the stand and we still have to wait how to, that they are dried up at least the glue dried up in a moment i show you the end result and for now already i'm sorry a little bit that it was a little bit of a chaos today because nothing did work the way i wanted to be so i am really sorry so bear with me i hope to show you now the end result and here you see the end result of our two easter wooden signs and i am so happy with how they turned out of course i had them a little bit different in my head but you can see with crafting you have to change your mind sometimes when some pieces don't work the way you want them to be we are so happy you were here and just came over to watch this new diy and of course i hope you got a little bit inspiration from it to make one of your own you also can make this little sign from a piece of uh, cardboard so go ahead do whatever you think is right and fitting for your decor i am really happy how both of them turned out and we hope to see you in our next diy So this was it already for this daily home inspiration. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this content, I hope you will consider subscribing to our channel. 
Have a beautiful day, everyone. Bye.